Hi, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop. And today I want to talk about a serious issue that a lot of guys are having with their Briggs and Stratton engines. I've got a couple of disturbing emails. Uh, one was, if I can remember all of it, his dad borrowed his snapper. And he was loading it onto a trailer to take it to his house. And either when he got it there and was unloading it, or when he was loading it, it had one of these little jewels on it. This is the back of my engine, the one I just bought, my 2012. This is the back of the engine. If you look close right here, you can see the bumper that it stands on. And this little black thing is one of their new, high-tech, better ideas for draining your oil. It is plastic, heat from the engine, and cold and hot will break down the plastic. If you leave your machine outside, the sun will break down the plastic. When he was transporting it, he bumped that. And it started leaking. Well, when he was mowing his, he said it had a two and a quarter acre yard, it ran out of oil and blew up the engine. Uh, this is not an isolated problem. If you have one of these on your machine, let me grab a part and show you. Well, I did find the pipe nipple I had, but I can't find my cap. I don't use a, I don't use a coupling and a plug, and it just makes it longer. All you want to do is get a long enough pipe nipple to get it past the back of your machine and then put a cap on it. Get rid of the plastic thing. This is off of my boss's uh, 2012 machine that we rebuilt last fall. If you watched the videos, you would have seen me working on it. This one's a little safer. This has a hose on it. And this handy little clip up here goes under the recoil cover. And this also has a seal on it. It's got a rubber O-ring in there. And it twists, locks on. So if this one comes open and this comes off, it still can't leak. Well, he was mowing his lawn last week, and I've got a terrible picture. I thought I had a better picture of it. He got done mowing his yard, and he backed his machine into his garage. Now, he parks on both sides of the garage, so he was backing in the center of the garage where the floor drain is. And this thing is up like this. It sticks out past the back of the machine about at this point. So it sticks out about an inch and a half. This part ran into the tire on his bicycle. And it cracked this plastic. He backs in, shuts off his machine, and goes in the house. Now luckily, I don't know how much you can see here, but this is a front tire, and get the glare off of this. This is the puddle of oil. It ran off the back of his machine, and it ran towards the floor drain. Now luckily, he wasn't parked on top of the floor drain or he never would have known the oil leaked out. He would have got back on his machine, mowed his yard, and blew up his engine. He was back far enough where the oil ran all the way out from underneath of his machine before it reached the floor drain. So if you have one of these things on your machine, you're supposed to just give it a, a slight twist. It's not even a quarter of an inch, and you pull out on it and then the oil drains out. This one is kind of handy because it's got this little hose. But believe me, for as convenient as this is to be wrenchless, and as handy as this little hose is, 
take it off your machine, please. Buy yourself a pipe nipple. These, it's three eighths is the size you need. This was probably about 97 cents. The cap is going to cost you probably a dollar and a quarter. Or this handy dandy little thing is going to cost you about $350 plus shipping to buy a new engine. So please get rid of it. Not all of Briggs and Stratton's brainstorm ideas are good ones. <laughs> so that's about four guys that I know of that have had issues with these plastic drains. So I'll leave it up to you to uh, do what you want with one of these things. But I've got one on that 2012 I bought. I'm not using that this year. This fall, I'm bringing it in here. I'm going to completely go through it. And this will be the first thing I take off and throw in the garbage. So until next time, work safe, have fun, keep your oil in your engine, and we'll talk to you soon.